Hey guys, I'm Austin with Core Defense Concepts, and today we're looking at some slings. Let's go get here today we're talking about slings particularly we're going to be dealing with two point slings i know there's one point slings out there trash yes yeah, garbage absolute garbage yep. and then there's the two point slings that turn into a one point sling which are great but that's not really our purpose today the purpose is not about tactics or anything like that we're really going over um three different types of slings we're going to be go looking at the centrifuge training sling which i run on all my rifles pretty much i love their stow system we'll look yep. at that Secondly, in comparison to that, we're going to be looking at the Viking Tactics Sling, right? The Street Fighter Sling, yes. Street Fighter yep. Sling, because there is multiple Viking Tactics Slings. Yes. I have that 2.0, and then you have the Street Fighter, yep. right? Very comparable in, in stowage ideas, right, of how we stow the sling, but very different as well. And in, I think the release is quite different. The release is quite different, yep. too. And then thirdly, we're going to be looking at this sling right here, which is the Archangel Tactical Concepts Sling. Full disclosure, I was sent this sling by them. They wanted me to review it. So we put it through its test. I gave this to one of my buddies to train in a shoot house for about three days. I ran it out there for about three days as well. And then we both run it on uh, multiple quals and stuff like that for our agencies. And I uh, have just really been working with it. I've also been working with it huge today. You'll see some of that. And, uh, and really put it through its test and I like it. I like what's going on there. Great concept, has some downfalls. Yep. Has some really great innovative stuff. As all too. do. All do, yeah. Not, nothing is ever perfect. No, not at all. Uh, once again, I'm here with Ed. Ed and I work together, and he's uh, been gracious enough to come out and uh, and film these things with me for you guys. Guys, make sure you're subscribing. Hit that bell notification and subscribe. Let's get in to these slings. All right, so we're talking about two-point slings. And the first sling I wanted to start with was the Centrifuge Training yep. Sling. Company, Centrifuge Training, Will Petty out there, longtime law enforcement, great trainer. Um, decided to make a sling and put it out to the market. The cool thing about this sling, okay, is it's one of the very few on the market that have a very tiny stowage system to it. Makes it very user uh, friendly, I'd say. Yep. Which, which is huge. Huge. St stowability. You're dealing with police officers yep. and, and, and civilians. Stowability is massive and user serviceable, very easy to, to understand is, is how that is, or is, is really important. What it is, is just this little like proprietary piece that he's created. And what it does is the sling folds back on itself and tightens right back up on itself just like this, with that. And when you deploy it, it's pretty easy to deploy too. When you deployed it, what did you think about it? Easy. Very you know, simple, It's right? a simple motion. Yeah. What do you think probably were some of the downfalls of it though? So this is 100% personal preference. I don't like a pad. Okay. You know, unless I'm gonna be out on patrol for days, I don't want a pad. I just want a thin strap, less to get caught on, yeah. moves easier on my body, I find. And especially if I'm wearing a plate carrier, mm -hmm. this just, for me, you know, gets it, more to catch on. Interesting about that, I, I prefer a pad, but it has to be a one inch pad. Yep. It has to be, or else it gets caught when I'm doing manipulation. So those with the massive rifle. ass pads. Yeah, they terrible. Suck. Yeah, those uh, Viking um, Tactics has a 2.0 sling yep. with a really big pad on it. And I used that for years, and it just great cinching system, but terrible. And pads. comfortable. Very comfortable. But good luck manipulating your weapon. Yeah. What else might have been a problem that you found on the, on the center? So page? in our job, we have to grab a rifle out of a cruiser really quickly. And yeah. this could hang up. Yeah, so I you're saying. I didn't notice that could pop up. It hasn't happened, you know, but it could. You're saying that could just fall out. Fall you know? out. Yeah. And get caught on something as you're taking yeah the rifle. absolutely I, I it does it does come out really easily Comes out though super easy you can fish in really easy and you can cinch down the one thing i would say too that i've had complaints with with this is how small this is to yep. grab some people would like something to grab onto benefits of the archangel sling is it comes with that it comes with this uh this this uh 550 cord yep an right? adjustment cord yeah this paracord right here and it immediately you can fish it in fish it out and what's important about it it, it's built by the same stuff. It's that same Cordura, yep. you know. But the cool thing about Archangel, you know, is that what they're coming, what they're what they're sending this thing with. They're sending you for 
I think it's at like a sixty dollars sling, which is which is very affordable. Very it's, affordable. It's actually cheaper than a lot of other slings out there. Yeah, it's 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 probably I'd say mid range. Yep. Right. Um, the centrifuge being the cheapest, I think it's thirty dollars, and then shipping whatever that is. Uh, the Viking Tactic probably being the more well, expensive. I think sixty dollars, right around there. Right in there. Yeah. Well, these guys over at Archangel are sending um, are sending you with metal parts as well as plastic. And companies don't just do that. They don't. They don't do that. And so if I wanted to, I have I like running all plastic parts. But if I wanted to, I could take off the uh, the plastic D-rings and add metal ones, the sliders. I think that's what yep. they're called, right? And then they give you an entire metal um, uh, slide catch. Which too, if or, that or was whatever you want to call it. That was my sling. I would probably use that and then the rest plastic. And then the rest plastic, right? So that's yeah. pretty cool too. I mean, they give you this with the entire pack. Yeah. And I have run it with this, and it is it is smooth. Probably one of my downsides to the Archangel, if we could talk about that right now, is the fact that you got to stow it the old way, right? There's no easy way to stow this. There's no ingenious way. You just got to stow it the old way. Yep, which works. Yeah, or you can get a Ranger strap, you know, any of those yep. things. Those work too. Uh, and then sometimes in the plastic parts, when you're grabbing with this, it gets hung up. If you grab right here, whoo, really easy, really smooth, right? And you can cinch it down really easy too. A lot of gross, see it gets hung up a little bit sometimes there, but that's about it with me other than that the other thing i'd like to see because i am a, a a um strap guy yep. right I, I would like to see it be a little bit longer you'll see that it's it's a little bit shorter than the centrifuge i think the centrifuge finds that perfect length because when we are fished into the sling and we have to go from high ready and back it tends to get caught up a little bit even with nothing on my neck yes. right whereas if we had more pad down to here it wouldn't it wouldn't as much and, and we can cut to length what we want. And so this, that doesn't matter for cinching purposes. But man, I, I just think it's a well-built and robust It sling. looks nice. It does too. It comes yeah. in multiple colors. I think they've done a great job out there. Um, and then I guess there's the third sling that we're talking about, right? And that's the Street Fighter sling by, From by Viking Tactics. By Viking Tactics. Yeah. Kyle Lamb, uh, the Green Beret guy was Mogadishu, all that good stuff. Now knows what he's doing. Knows what he's doing. Yep. There's no There's question no, about no that. No question. That guy is is, yeah. is a gem to society. Let, let's take a look at his sling. The one I've been running for a while, it's the one I found works good for me. Okay. Slings, it's personal preference. You know, yeah. you're gonna find what works for you, and somebody else could say, "Oh, that's garbage," but if it works for you, it works for you. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I think operationally too, it depends on what your your set is. If you're just a civilian every day, and this is gonna sit in your uh, safe. And you're just going out to the range or maybe running some classes buy it because it looks cool is it a yeah is it a cool sling or something <laughs> like that yeah cool awesome if when you start talking about deployment from a vehicle or or long trips or stuff like that yep. now we start getting a little bit picky right and so deployment from a vehicle we really want to make sure that that stowage is really good and that nothing's getting hung up exactly. uh and yet that we can still use everything without having to deploy the sling first yep that's another very important thing. Really, um, really thin. So I mean, it's nice and tight, really thin. Yeah. The only part you'd consider hanging off would be this. The, yeah, that might catch the on some release stuff. In, it could catch on some stuff. It does seem like it has a lot of a lot of products on it. I a, mean, lo a lot of doodads. It's got a lot of doodads yes. going, which I, yeah. I, you know, I tend to stay away from that. I'm more a streamlined kind of guy, you know me. But, um, but I mean, if it works, it works. And I, I so deployment wise. Deployment wise. Um, I think that the easiest to deploy was probably for me was the centrifuge i would agree if you can get that uh that solid grip on it and you don't have to worry about gross motor skills and you've trained it out i think deployment wise centrifuge is probably yep. the easiest second probably the this guy so right I, here. I, I, it's good deploying but you really have to get an initial pop you really have if to get you, that if pull. you don't get the pull it could hang up yeah so there's there, there's like you that know, half pull but if you get that full pull the sling's going to be out, completely out, ready for use. And it'll go to right to work. Yep. Okay, awesome. Um, use Usability whilst the sling is in there. I think that Archangel has a has um, a leg up. I think that its usability and being able to cinch it down is fantastic. I think yep. it's right there with the Viking Tactic. Yep, you can use the rifle with the sling mm -hmm. stowed. Um, it does take longer to stow the sling. It does, yeah. So it definitely does. But by that time, I'm done using it. So yeah. eh, it takes me an extra minute to stow it. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think that's a big problem yeah. there at the end. I think I'm, the, I'm not stowing my sling in a gunfight. No, I think the quickest to stow is probably the Archangel because it has no stowing capability other than the old school yes. way of doing it, which yep. is wrapping it around your stock. Unless you get like a Ranger wrap or something like that, one of those little 
band. But for usability, when you want to cinch it down, you really have to grab that paddle. You have to find that thing. Yeah, and cinch it down. Which which was the complaint that I found when I gave it over to some of my um, my agency partners that yep. that were that were working it uh, in the shoot houses and stuff like that. They're like, oh, I kind of wish there was like a 550 cord on the end of it and that we could grab. On the Viking, so this too. So this is to tighten. So, so that's the pull to tighten. Yeah. And this is to release. So that's a little confusing. That's it's a, a little training confusing. thing. It's a training thing. You, do, you have to get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I love what Archangel is doing here. It's, it is a uh, it is a great sling. It works really well. It was really user serviceable. Right well, out, well constructed. Yeah, right out the bag too. Yep. Like it, it just worked. So it's definitely going to go into rotation on one of my rifles. Probably, probably my other ten and a half that I have yeah. um, that we keep suppressed. I'm going to keep it on that um, and probably throw this guy back on there eventually, uh, just for um, stow. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Us going over the Viking tactics, the centrifuge training sling, and a big shout out to Archangel Tactical Concepts for sending us this sling to look at. We love what they're doing up there. Keep up the awesome work with that. Uh, guys, be sure to subscribe right down here. Hit that bell notification so that when we drop new content, you can see it before anybody else does. And be sure to find us on Facebook or on Instagram or down here at forwarddefenseconcepts.com. We're always putting new content out there, some training aids. Ed, thanks for coming out and helping me today. Thanks for letting me help you today. No worries, man. Guys, get out there, train hard, be safe. We'll see you on the range.